We're all wired to want to feel good. We're built by nature to want to experience more pleasure and avoid pain. But there are healthy and unhealthy ways of experiencing that pleasure, and it's the healthy ways that are sustainable and that lead to emotional sobriety. When we don't learn how to soothe ourselves and calm down the natural way, we may be in danger of wanting to reach out and grab substances or behaviors that are unhealthy for us to bring calm to our inner world. We may want to reach out for a substance like alcohol, drugs, or food to unwind, calm down, or to feel good. Or maybe we get caught in addictive behaviors like gambling, sexual acting out, over or under eating to get that high feeling going. Certain activities like walking, like exercise, biking, touching, sharing feelings with others, journaling, reading uplifting literature, actually turn on the body's natural opoid system, which is the body's natural mood stabilizer. Endorphins are the natural painkillers. They give us that high feeling associated with the runner's high. Serotonin acts as a natural antidepressant. It actually keeps our moods balanced and upbeat. Touching releases oxytocin, the bonding chemical, the one that mediates emotional closeness, that sort of gives us a sense of where we leave off and another person begins. Hot baths gives us a shot of prolactin, which is that calming chemical that nursing mothers release. These are nature's mood stabilizers. They act in the body as an antidepressant act. They get feel-good chemicals pumping through our bodies that help us balance our moods. These are the natural highs. Emotional sobriety is about learning to live in four, five, and six, rather than bounce back and forth between one to 10 and 10 to one. It's learning how to live in the mid-range rather than on the emotional edges or extremes. It's about bringing our thinking, feeling, and behavior into a balanced range, about establishing a daily routine of activities that elevate our moods naturally so that we can use the medicine chest that's actually inside of us to smooth out our stressed out emotions, so that instead of activities that are unhealthy or even self-destructive, we can depend on the kinds of daily activities that are sustainable and natural to achieve emotional sobriety.